Hello everyone, welcome to Tickflow RPA tutorial. Today we are going to be learning about RPA. If you are new to this topic, this will definitely help you to understand RPA better. Let's have a look what is RPA. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. RPA is a new solution to handle repetitive tasks by using software robots in order to save valuable human time. RPA technology is changing how the world get work done today. Now we are looking into three aspects to help us to understand how RPA is composed of. Robotic is what I like to call it who to do. Complete tasks by robot instead of human. Second word, process, what to do, a sequence of steps to complete a task. Okay, the last one and the most important one, automation, process a sequence of steps automatically without human intervention. So RPA is actually mimicking human actions to execute a sequence of steps on a computer that lead to complete a work task. Having all of them together, robots, process, automation, you could end up with a brilliant digital workforce. After all this definition, let's have a look how it's been done. The first picture on the left, this is what we do every day. Work on the computer, maybe switch between systems or data. That would involve many actions or steps to complete a certain task. For example, input, click, select, copy and paste. And there are a lot of more actions in the real world in order to make RPA work for us, we could transfer all these steps into something like this, the RPA script, and let RPA does the tedious work for us. Now, for example, this one, right? I would like to extract data from bbc.com, input a keyword and click search, then I get all the news titles. Now, the robot is extracting all the news titles and save into a spreadsheet like this. The idea of this whole tutorial is to teach you how to make this transformation from your work into RPA script. Furthermore, about RPA, the robot is not an entity. You cannot physically talk to it. It is a software that you install on your computer. It is a tool that you configure to automate your task. And it is a digital worker to assist any repetitive tasks. Bear in mind, it is not here to replace you, but to make you more time to do more thinking. RPA is non-invasive. No need to worry about to change everything you have got, like ERP, SRM, CRM, or your accounting system. Everything will stay the same. It will be working in between them rather than replacing them. What other benefits of Tickflow RPA? With the boost of RPA, you may accelerate your time to value, reduce your human error, increase throughput, have a personal assistant online 24-7, have no more overtime, make you more competitive at work. You will find have less stress, more efficient, more productive, more satisfied, and you could spend valuable time on challenges and aspects that require more thinking. Let's make a quick introduction to Tickflow RPA. So why choose Tickflow RPA? Tickflow RPA is quite a new player on the market. First of all, Tickflow RPA is purely designed for an ordinary person. You don't have to be a professional programmer in order to use it. So it has a rather user-friendly interface, especially the widget designer, which I'm going to make a quick demonstration in a minute. The community edition is absolutely free of charge forever and all-in-one design. I would like to make a quick explanation about this all-in-one design. In RPA world, normally this software will be designed into three components, robots, studio, and orchestrator. But for ordinary person, that's going to be make it far too complicated to use it. You have to switch in between three components. Now in Tickflow, we would like, and we have put all these components into one. So you do not have to worry about what is orchestrator, what is studio, what is robots. They are actually one. That design made it a lot easier for you to use it. And I just mentioned zero coding. So programming skill are absolutely not needed. You do not have to write a single line of code. All you need to do, drag and drop. Uh, there are extended command sets with 100 plus pre-built functions you could use it straight away. These are the key features of a Tickflow RPA. Normally at work, we would be using like software automation, web automation. Maybe you would like control your keyboard or mouth, uh, Excel automation, file folders, automate email, 
and the data extraction or database. There are tons of features, which I'm not going to list all of them. We'll go through them one at a time. This is the interface of Tickflow RPA. That's where all the magic happens. Let's start from the left. Uh, command sections contains all the functions you need. For example, web automation, Excel automation, desktop automation, etc. Now you could drag a command from the command sections into editor area. That's where you set up all the logic flows. We call it a storyboard that you want the robot to perform. Information section is where you monitor output feedbacks from the flow of robots. Element section is to capture window or web elements. Navigator is where you manage your flow. A typical project may have more than just one flow. Global variable section is where you define variable that can be accessed by all flows in the project. All right, let's get started first from download the software. Now you could visit www.tickflowrpa.com and click download over here. And it should take about a couple of minutes to complete the download. Then you install it on your computer, just like you install your office. After that, launch your Tickflow by double clicking it. Uh, you, should be, you should be having a login panel here. And you could either sign up by your email or you could continue with your Google account, click it, and now it's authorizing your account. Click your account, authorizing, sign in, off you go. That's the main interface, okay? Uh, that's the main interface of Tickflow RPA. And you have the navigate bar, and then you can start from new a project or new app for PC automation. Now, let's start a very, very simple demonstration, okay? First of all, you could click the web browser. That's the built-in web browser provided by Tickflow RPA. Now, let's go to www.bbc.co.uk. All right, let's search World Cup as the keyword. And click search. That's the search button. All right, you got all the news, right? You got all the headlines here. Now, what are we going to do? First, we need to perform a input. Then we need to perform a click. Okay, there's two elements we need to work on. All right, it's quite simple. And uh, now we go to web automation. And now we are going to get open web page because the web page we, we have already opened. So we do not need to start from open web page. We get, we get open web page. Now we choose browser. This is the built-in web browser, okay? And the match bar activated because this page is currently activated. Okay, you could match in a different way. You could match with the title of the page or URL of the page. Okay, now it's activated. Done. Secondly, we're going to capture elements here. The first element is the search bar. And we continue to save. And this is the search button. All right, quite simple. And now we need to perform a populate or input, populate text field. We select a target. That's the target, the search bar. What we want to input is the World Cup. And we click done. The second, the second command we need a click element. The target is submit search. All right. Click it down. Now, let's run it. Let's see what happens. Okay, run it. World Cup, click search. Okay. Now down. As simple as that. Okay. Now we can change this keyword. Now we will see the changes after we run the robots. Okay, let's do it again. Water cup. Click search. Okay, water cup. Now we get the result about a water cup. All right. Okay, that's the first robots we ever made. Okay, it's just simple and as simple as that. Okay, if you are interested in RPA, if you think RPA could do something for you, um, I'm going to brief you through the tutorial agenda so you know what's going to come up. First session, build your first boat. And I will take you to build your first boat, but there will be some concepts you need to know uh, because we need to line up a few definitions, concepts. 
Um, otherwise, you won't be able to know what I'm going to talk about in the next few sessions. The basics will be including like uh, dialogues, prints, and sh how to share your boats, uh, how to use trigger and scheduler, things like this. Uh, what is element? What is the command? Uh, what is the action? What is the variable? It's a very easy one. So we, I will take you through. Uh, it's, it's, it's simple, but it's absolutely necessary for beginner. Uh, session two will be covering uh, if conditionals, uh, wait and loop. And this is very, very important because that's the that's how you make your boat clever, right? How to make your boat do the repetitive tasks. Session three, we will dive into web automation. There are tons of daily work based on this. Session four, an advanced skill about a web element. I will teach you how to locate your elements by editing them. All right, session five is about prepare data and process data. How to manage your data. What is data? What is variable? What is numbers, strings, text, list? And how to convert them. Uh, session six, uh, we will look into Excel automation. There will be a few demo set up between Excel and the web automation. So you know how to make your boat, uh, how to let your RPA work on in different platform all right guys so much for today thank you for watching if you have any queries please contact us on support at tickflowrpa.com i see you next time